MTV. Welcome to my crib. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Medita. And today I'm finally filming something that I've been putting off for such a long time. And that is my room tour. Yeah, I'm also doing this in honor of hitting 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is, by the way, so amazing. Thank you all so much for all the support and everything I've gotten over the past few months. It's been an amazing experience so far, and I wish I could actually see every person in person and give everyone a hug because it's just, I, I can't understand. So thank you all so much for everything. And I'm definitely going to be doing a 100,000 subscriber giveaway. I think I'm going to mention all the details in my next video. Just look out for that. I'm definitely also going to be talking about it more on my Instagram. And I think we can just get started with my room tour video. Yeah, let's go. So I don't really know how people would film a room tour, but what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go clockwise around my room and show you everything. So my room, I feel like represents really well my personality, but it's not, how do you say, a vibe. First things first, this is my, this is my beautiful door. The funny thing about this door is that it actually has glass panels in here. So um, for a while, people could actually look into my room and whenever people walk past my door to the kitchen, they would just see a random girl just sitting on their bed it was really weird always, but now I finally put these little tapes onto my window so no one can look inside anymore, which is definitely very good now for my privacy. Let's go on to the right now, where we can start off with my bookshelf. This is obviously the centerpiece and the main thing in my room. I've been collecting books for years. I used to always get books for every birthday and I was never allowed to watch any movies before reading the book. And there was definitely a significant boom in the size of my shelf during the coronavirus because I had a lot more time, obviously, and I read a lot more. And yeah, let's now go into a bit more detail. This is my romance or rom-com shelf. That is because I organize my shelf by vibes. Everything romance, everything love, everything relationship, everything kissy kissy, I love you too. So we have lots of rom-coms here and at the bottom we have some darker romances and new adult romances. And over here we have even more. Below we obviously have, as you can see, my Chris Rebecca Richie Shine, full of every single book for the Addicted series and Like Us series. Next on my shelf is my little middle shelf. This one is not that organized. We have YA books, mostly my favorites. These small shelves are all full of my favorite YA books. Up here we have sad books and books that were turned into movies. So my movie bookshelf. Now let's go over to my fantasy side, which I like a lot more. This is my thriller slash mystery shelf. These three shelves are full of thrillers, adult thrillers, YA thrillers, and then thrillers slash mystery if they are from the same author. I read most of these books. I love all of these books. It's just great. We obviously have Holly Jackson, love of my life. And then a row below, we have the shelf that I rarely touch, aka my Dark Academia shelf. The only books I really have touched on here were the Olivia Blake ones, and I really like these, but I'm very intimidated and very scared of any Dark Academia book, mostly because I started reading Vita Nostra and I was disturbed. And now I'm like, well, do I really want to read The Secret History? And if it were villains, I don't know. I mean, Vanessa keeps telling me to read it, but I I'm just terrified of it. And then below is where my shelf gets a bit messy and sadly stops being a theme because as I told you, I have this little border shelf here, which is filled with my YA favorites, but sadly not all of my YA books fit into there. So I had to have two more rows of YA on my mystery shelf, which is so not the vibe that it's supposed to be, but I have to do what I have to do. This shelf also doesn't fit into the theme, but I have nowhere else to put it because this is like gothic books with like horror and like disgusting stuff, like girls eating books when they're anxious. Yeah, it's just like, a collection of books that I feel like are a bit scary, a bit darker, a bit like Halloween-y, if that makes sense. This is my fantasy slash dystopian corner. This corner obviously has my beautiful chair that I broke. Great, isn't it? I bought this chair like a month ago, but then one day I sat down and my knee went exactly onto one of the bars and it broke straight through. Now the chair has been fixed because I put pink tape around it. Anyways, let's focus on the on the shelves because this is like what we're gonna talk about. 
The top level of each of these three shelves is part of my 2012 I was in love with Joss Hutcherson vibe phase. These books all were read by me when I was a bit younger, a bit more quirky I would like to say. It was a funny period in my life. Anyways, let's continue. On this shelf, as I already told you, are my dystopian books. Obviously, my Shatter Me Shrine, it's a personality, it's a lifestyle, it's everything I do. I'm well aware that some people don't like the series. I love it though. And obviously we have other dystopian books and then we have the more mystery books like V.E. Schwab with magic as well. The three rows below are literally just fantasy that had no other spot to be in and are just random. On the other hand, the middle shelf is fully organized just by vibe. Right, as I told you, 2014, 2012, just mermaids, fantasy books and Mara Dyer best fantasy books, red themed fantasy books, Brandon Sanderson and adult fantasy, aka with spicy scenes. On this side, we have also just like fantasy, I, like mostly YA fantasy, I would like to say. I always started with YA fantasy and at the bottom is more of the adult stuff. We have fantasy books like The Wrath of Dawn, more high fantasy like Jade City, The City of Brass, and like thick books that I'm scared of. The Cruel Prince, and we have my book talk fantasy shelf, I would like to say, because there's the Bardugo and Marissa Meyer, Serpent and Dove. And then at the bottom, I don't really know if I should show you this in detail, but we have Adult Fantasy, and we have a shelf full of Percy Jackson and the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. And that is basically my giant bookshelf. Obviously, on the top row, I have just special editions. They're mostly from Fairy Loot. Now let me show you my chair. <laughs> this is my Papazon chair, aka my reading chair. It's so comfortable. I could spend hours in here. It's such a nice shape. So even though it's broken, I still love my baby. I'm definitely going to be filming a few reading vlogs in here and my Maddie Talks episodes will all be in this chair. Right next to my chair is a little table full of random things. I made this table because I thought it would look really aesthetic in my room because my room is not aesthetic at all. Um, on here is one of my favorite Lego sets. We have the Lego globe. I had so much fun building this one and I think it's such a cute decoration in a room. Behind the table, we have a painting I found on a street and it was free to take. So I obviously took it for my room decoration. Duh. Then on the table, we also have three books. We have my Schiller collection, my Charles Dickens collection, and a book full of plays. On top of that book, we have a candle. A candle! This one is supposed to smell like a vintage bookshop, but it really doesn't because Vanessa recently told me it smells like detergent and now I cannot smell anything else except detergent and laundry. We also have a tarot card that I got sent to. It's called La Plus. Whatever, I don't really know what this tarot card is supposed to tell me, but I have it anyways. And we also have some other things that are supposed to bring me good luck. I have three crystals that I bought with Michaela in the US and a horseshoe as well as my watch. I don't know if they actually work because ever since I've been back from the US, I've gotten worse and worse mentally. So maybe they're fake, I don't know. I hope they work one day, but we have a rose quartz, a quartz and a desert rose. Now let's go on to my favorite part of my room. This is my bed, my, my home. I used to have a twin bed in my old room. And so this is like large to me, this is giant. The only thing is it doesn't have a headboard. So I have to use pillows as a headboard against the window seal. So my neck doesn't break whenever I lie down. At the bottom of the bed, we have my Taylor Swift vinyls. When Midnight's came out, I really wanted to have the Midnight's clock. So I bought all the four vinyls on the German Taylor Swift website, but they messed up. So I got three of the vinyls. I got this one, this one, and then I got the original blue one double. And I emailed them so many times. They never responded until like a month ago. They told me they would send me the replacement. They never did. And so now I still don't have the clock on my wall and they're just lying here, which is really sad. I also then have the, the actual clock in here as well that has never been used. And we have this Lego set that I started building and I never finished it. Now you may go, why Medita? You've been building so many new Lego sets and you never built this one. Let me tell you why. This is the Lego piano. And when I started building this, I realized I had to get certain batteries and I do not have them at home. And I got too lazy to buy them. And then I kind of just like forgot to build it. And now I keep building like one bag every day. So it grows very slowly. Yeah. And then the last thing I have on here is also something very special that I got a while ago. And it's a How to Train Your Dragons poster 
Uh, we have Hiccup and Toothless on here, as you can tell. This is made up of the script of the first movie and it's handmade, super, super adorable. But yeah, I can read it and it goes, this is Burke. It's 12 days north of Hopeless and a few degrees south from freezing to death. It's located solidly on the meridian of misery, my village. In a word, sturdy. And that is all I have at the bottom of my bed. Let me show you what's below my bed really quickly. I don't really think I have to explain that much what's below there. It's just books. Most of them are YA books, really old YA books. I read, I think every single one, they didn't have any space on my main shelf or did not deserve a space on my main shelf. And that's why they're stored down there. Let's go to this side of my bed and then also show you my library collection. So down here, we just have a lot of books. Most of these are darker romances or new adult romances. I have read almost every single one, I'm pretty sure. These shelves have been getting a lot more empty over the past few months because I've been unhauling them. I have this very big issue that I do not want to get rid of books because I've always wanted a library when I was younger. And I feel like it's so contradicting to get rid of books when you want to have a library. I don't know. I really don't know. On this side, the exact same thing is happening. We have lots of romance books down here. New adult back here, more darker romances here. Uh, up front, we have like old books, like the Game of Thrones series that I have not read. Again, most of these books have been read by me. Yeah, they're okay. They're not my favorite, I would like to say. My favorites are all on the shelf. So now let's go into my Lego. This is my Lego Star Wars collection. Star Wars has been in my life for 21 years and I have been alive for 21 years. I grew up watching the movies. I watched all the shows, Clone Wars, Rebels, everything. And I also just used to play Star Wars a lot. And uh, my brother and I used to play Wookiees. It was an experience, I would like to say. I thought collecting Star Wars Lego heads was the correct thing to do at this point. I'm just gonna start off over there. We have R2D2, who is one of my favorite characters ever. He is so cute. I absolutely love this Lego set since it's also mechanical. His leg in the middle can retract and you can like put it up into his body, which is a lot of fun. And then if you want to get it out, what you do is you like you, you go like this. Ah, it's so cool. And he has like retractable arms and everything like that. And I got that one for a birthday, I'm pretty sure. It's like a tradition already in my family. I would like to say that for every birthday, for forever, I always got a Lego set. That definitely really helped me with how big my collection is now because I definitely would have not been able to buy a lot of these when I was younger. And yeah, that's where I have R2-D2 from. And then following along my R2-D2 line, we have Captain Rex, which is my newest Lego head that was added to my collection. He fought against the Order of the 66. He got his chip taken out. He was always really important in the Star Wars The Clone Wars cartoon series with Ahsoka Tano, which I really liked. Uh, right next to it, we have the Viper Probe Droid, um, which was obviously part of the fifth Star Wars movie or like the original second. It's in the snow. That's why we have the snow features here. And it looks like a spider and it's very scary. Right next to it is another one of my favorite Lego heads and that is Luke Skywalker's helmet from the Red Five. This is also my dad's favorite Lego um, head because of the details and the fact that it's a helmet actually and it looks very different from the other ones. Next to that we have Commander Cody who was always around with Obi-Wan. Uh, he did take part of the Order 66. In the third movie you can see him attacking Obi-Wan. Then next we have the Star Wars Baby Yoda or like the child which is part obviously of the Mandalorian series. Next to it I have a Lego set that Vanessa actually gifted me. I really like this Lego set. It has cannons that can shoot and it's adorable. It fits perfectly into my room. And then the second window seal has the rest of my Lego Star Wars helmets. We have the Stormtrooper, the really basic one, the white one. I love the detail. It looks so great. It's so recognizable. We also have the Dark Trooper, which definitely looks dark and I love that for it. Then we have the Mandalorian, obviously, which looks sleek, silver, expensive. It looks great, and I love how similar it looks to Boba Fett since, you know, obviously. Um, we always have Darth Vader, which was my first helmet in the collection that started off my addiction to all of these. Love it. And it looks very realistic. Then we have Boba Fett, as I just said, and I love his helmet a lot. I'm wondering if they will produce a helmet for Jango Fett anytime soon, but I think they will probably. Then we have the fighter pilot, who also is... This little guy, and I love the detail, and I love still how similar it is to the normal Stormtrooper because it has the same basic elements. 
at the end over here we have the scout trooper um who is part of the fifth movie and they have this helmet that protects their eyes from like the snowstorm welcome to the other side of my bed which has a completely different theme of lego sets since we have flowers and random stuff behind my bed i have three different flower lego sets from the botanical theme we have the orchid which is definitely my favorite i love the pink it's a super adorable simple set that looks very realistic then we also have the lego bouquet with a vase that actually is a book and that was also a present from vanessa as you can tell vanessa is fueling my lego collection and vanessa is helping me grow my lego collection so we love her for that the last set over here is my greenish one and the biggest one as well and that is the bird of paradise that is my newest lego flower set and yeah i think it looks really nice absolutely love the three flowers behind my bed and then on this side of my bed we have uh, four other lego sets that are not at all a theme they're just very random we have my once upon a brick lego book that opens up and actually has the story of red riding hood inside which is super cool there was also an option to build the beanstalk in here but i decided to do red riding hood just because it looked cooler right next to it is another thing that combines books and lego and that is the lego burke bookstore i only got this because of the lego bookstore i will never get any other houses probably because i'm not really um a collector of those things i would like to say i'm more of a star wars collector as i already said but I had to get this one since it's a bookstore and it has such beautiful Victorian houses. I love the detail on the inside. I love the staircase that is green, the little bookshelves we have, how the books are created, the chair. And in the Victorian house, I absolutely love the kitchen. I love the pink umbrella and the bed is also super cute. And another really cute detail is definitely the cheese in the basement for the mouse. Yeah, and then right next to it, we have my only Lego car and that is this, this yellow car. I don't know what car it is. I'm not into cars. It's yellow and yellow is my favorite color. So it definitely fits into my room and it's super detailed again. And then my last Lego set on my window seal is my Winnie the Pooh Lego set, which is the house of Pooh. And it's just such an adorable set. We have all the important characters with it. We have lots of honey, lots of bees. We have the misspelled word, which makes it even more cute. The bed is absolutely adorable. Now let's go to the thing that is next to my bed, which is the plainest corner of my room, my closet. Welcome to my closet where all of my fashion items are inside since I'm a fashionista and could literally start a fashion house and company. Um, my closet is unique. Why? Because it doesn't have any door handles. When Vanessa and I moved in together, we bought these closets and we thought that there were door handles with the closet, but they weren't any. So no, we don't have any door handles. And I've learned to open the door now by just like fully leaning all my weight against it and then just like pushing open the other door and it works just fine. And honestly, it looks kind of cute without the door handles. I will not be showing you the inside of my closet since I very much do not organize my closet and it does not look good at all and it would be embarrassing to show. What I will show you ever is my Lego Coliseum. This is the biggest Lego set I have and this also took me the longest to build. I think this took me months to build because every single time I opened a bag and finished a bag, the skin on my fingers was completely rubbed off and my fingers were raw because this lego set mostly consists of very small one by one pieces that really hurts your fingers okay and it's also a very repetitive set i still absolutely love this set this was also a birthday gift i got it obviously has its own designated table because it's that big and that is also the last piece i can really show you in my little closet corner so now let's go on to my desk which is a bit more of a fun area this is my desk my desk is full of candles, as you can tell. I really like candles. I have obviously a coffee scented candle. We have a karma scented candle and we have this one that's called cabin getaway that I haven't lit. It smells so good, but I'm so scared of lighting it because it's so small and I don't want to waste it, but it's, it's definitely my favorite scent that I have. My candles surround my, my giant vase full of markers for annotating books. Right next to my candles, I have um, my favorite Lego set or my second favorite Lego set basically, which is my typewriter. I absolutely love this Lego set. It was so complicated to build, in my opinion. It's a mechanical set most of the times. Yeah, that's my Lego typewriter. It very much fits the theme of me wanting to be a writer, which has not been going so well. And then right in front of my typewriter, we have just my notebooks and my iPad notebooks for different stuff. On the other side of my desk with my laptop, obviously, the painting I found on the street, which is my favorite one. This is the one with the really cute flowers. I really like this one. In front of it, we have this tray that I won. And I think it's supposed to be for hummus and for dips and like guacamole. But I have decided to store my jewelry in here. We have some hair clips. 
uh, my everyday bracelets and we have um, some seashells that my mom got me when she was on vacation. That's my hummus tray, my hummus tray of jewelry. And then on the far left of my desk, we have my Lego bonsai tree. I love the frogs. I think it's such a cute detail. We also have my perfume on here, as well as um, a singular copy of a Vogue magazine, because back in April, I got a DM from a girl and um, she was like, hey, Medita, did you know you are in Vogue Italia? And I was like, what? what? So she sent me a picture and then I was like, oh my God, I have to get this. This is so funny. Basically what happened is there is a book talk article in here and <laughs> they put like screenshots of random TikToks in here. And so there's a screenshot of me in here and Eamon as well. And a few uh, other book talkers we have, Celine down here as well. And I thought this was super funny. Behind my desk, there's a door. Vanessa? She's not in her room right now. This door leads to Vanessa's room. Right next to my desk, we actually have my book cart. This is my book cart and it's filled with everything except books. We have all of my annotation tools up here. We have more highlighters, these bookmarks. I got the sent to and uh, I kept them now because I think they're super funny. A uh, row below, we have all of my crocheting stuff. I crocheted a book sleep a while ago and I want to try to crochet a different one. And a row below, we have all of my chargers as well as stuff for book binding since I wanted to bind one of Vanessa's favorite fan fictions. Now let's go into the last thing in my room, which is my last shelf that I have. And this is my brain shelf, my smart shelf. This is my classic bookshelf. This is the bookshelf I want people to see when I want them to think that I'm very smart because there's a lot of literary fiction on here and women's fiction. This is a shelf that also has a lot of my school books on it. Starting off strong, we have up top historical romances, as well as a lot of Christmas themed Lego sets that you get for free whenever you order something on the Lego website. So they're just like stored up there. The row below, we have all of my classics, but there's a lot of copies on here double since for some reason I have like five copies of Wuthering Heights, but I also absolutely love that classic. So I think it's understandable that I have that many copies of it. The row below, we actually have all of my fairy tale collections. We have the Grim Fairy Tale, Feud and the Beast. We also have my last Lego set of the day, which is The Starry Night by Van Gogh, or Van Gogh. And it's 3D, it looks great. I, I could stare at this all day long. It's a beautiful painting, first of all. And the Lego set, I think, did such a good job at portraying what the painting actually shows, and I really like it. The row below is my last row of classics. This has all of my Penguin classics as well as my German and French classics. As you can tell, I have a lot of Reclam copies. These are not even all of them. Now let's go to the bottom half. This is my literary fiction or general fiction shelf. A lot of these books very much scare me and intimidate me. I also read like Yesterday Love and maybe I'm too dumb to understand it, but I was so confused by this book. And at the bottom we have weird poetry that's not really that good. But yeah, this is the last part of my room and the last part of my shelf. And that also means that this is the last part of this video. So thank you all so much for watching my room tour YouTube video. I am so sorry that I've been absent for almost a month now. I have been going through quite a lot of things. Yeah, going to therapy a lot more again. But yeah, thank you again so much for the 100,000 subscribers. I still can't believe it. And I love every single one of you. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can do a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, you can subscribe. Tell me what type of decorations I should get into my room, what posters I should hang up, what paintings I should hang up. Definitely tell me because I need some ideas. Thanks again. I hope you all have a great day, evening, night, and morning, whatever time zone in. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Go read a book. I think you should read if you haven't read it. All the light we cannot see. Thank you all again so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Happy reading and see you next time.